Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Patek Photography and Gear Reviews. I've got a great little sort of heads up tutorial for you today. I think you're going to like it. Recently, uh, through the summer, I was using some new software that I got for my iPhone, and that was the On One tethering software, and uh, put it to good use, uh, got some great images of hummingbirds with it, really enjoyed the software. But the one shortfall was that I don't currently own an iPad. I have my MacBook, and I've always been on the lookout for decent tethering software that's compatible with uh, my MacBook and my Nikon. So with Nikon, you have the options of the Nikon Capture software. I think it's $100, $150, something like that. Uh, Canon cameras, I believe, come with their own tethering options. You know, I started in photography with an S2 Pro and, and used the Fuji uh, tethering software, which was quite good. But I stumbled onto a company called Sofort Build. And I'll put the link in the video for you. And I'm going to run through the software uh, with you today, but it is... Uh, right now, the software, is, it's a free download. I downloaded it, uh, checked it out. I've been using it for a few days now. It has kind of an Apple theme to it, as you'll see in the tutorial. But uh, if you're looking for a decent uh, camera tethering software program to tether your Nikon camera uh, to your Mac, and it works with like you know my trusty D200, but it also handles live view with some of the newer cameras right up to D800, D4, uh, that kind of thing. You want to check it out. So let's have a look. Hey YouTube. Okay, so here we're going to take a look at the Sofort Build camera tethering software. And I currently have my D200 tethered to my MacBook here. And so let's go through the program uh, by the numbers, starting down the bottom left here. So there's your shutter speed adjustment. And as long as your camera is set in the manual mode, you have all the shutter speed settings that you would normally have uh, in camera. You can do it in the software here. Aperture. Straightforward, uh, exposure compensation. Again, basically everything that's in camera, you have it in the software. Your white balance, your ISO setting, there's picture quality, uh, size, uh, picture size, and your metering, I have to set that on the camera. So I'll just do that for you. There you go. It changes to matrix and I'll just change it back to spot. And now moving up to the top right. This feature I thought was really cool. You have a little inspector HUD here, much like the uh, what you would have in Aperture or iPhoto. Uh, there's your general uh, data. Nikon information. Exif data. You can scroll through the data to, to get to whatever you need to. TIFF data and GPS, which I don't have on my camera. And you also have an adjustment for your histogram options. Okay, if you have a little newer camera, you can use this software with Live View, which I think is a real handy feature if you've got a D300S or D800 or D4, what have you. Interval shooting. Set your hours, minutes, seconds. Another great feature. Exposure bracketing. You've got a number of options uh, here. You want to do a self-portrait and set your self-timer. All the uh, settings you have in camera, you've got them here in the software. Okay, so let's just fire off an image here. I apologize for the uh, mundane uh, images here in the home studio. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you, it's a, a really great feature. If you go into... Uh, the preferences for the software. Um, you notice here that the import captured pictures into, you can have them automatically dumped into Aperture or iPhoto, and I believe there's a plug-in for uh, Lightroom. You can have the app launch automatically if you want. Uh, so I found that to be really handy. And typically, the images are dumped into your pictures folder into the folder that you designate. So that's a good backup. You can have them in the pictures folder or into your aperture library, uh, whatever you choose. But I thought that was worthwhile to uh, point that out for you. So if you're looking for a great uh, option for tethering your Nikon camera to your Mac, <clears throat> 
The Sofort Build uh, tethering uh, software program is a really great choice, and I thought I'd just do this quick video as sort of my donation to the Sofort Build company and the individual that wrote the program. So I hope you found it beneficial. Um, I'll put a link to the uh, website where you can download the program yourself, and uh, away you go. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, again, I'll put the link uh, to the website in the video, and um, there, there's always a button there where you can donate. I think my donation for the, the fellow or the company that created the software is uh, this video itself. So uh, again, I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.